Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for February the 22nd, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, the FDA accepted Sanofi's filing seeking approval of a fixed ratio combination of Lantus and Lixumia for adults with type 2 diabetes. The company noted that following the redemption of a priority review voucher, a decision from the agency is expected in August. Also featured, Allegan's fourth quarter sales jumped 73.8% to $4.2 billion, meeting analyst expectations, boosted by acquisitions and the performance of Botox. The drug maker posted a loss of $700.5 million, narrowed from a year earlier deficit of $732.9 million. In other news, a late stage study of Amgen and UCB's Romosozumab in postmenopausal women with osteoporosis met all of its primary endpoints. The companies indicated that they plan to discuss the results with global regulators in anticipation of a potential filing in 2016. In addition, the European Commission approved Bayer's Covultri for the treatment of Haemophilia A in patients of all age groups. The therapy is an unmodified full-length recombinant factor VIII product that is used prophylactically two or three times per week. And finally, Prosecutors raided the South Korean unit of Novartis on suspicions that it had provided rebates to local doctors. An official involved in the probe said the raid was part of an investigation into finding out how the rebates were offered. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.